gonna get, it's gonna get louder. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to this cold cast presentation. I'm your casting host, Beef, and well, we're gonna be getting into some more haunt your action right here, right now. Stay green, and the internet gangsters are all tied up, and I like what I see right away. As I mentioned, I'm here with Panny. Oh yeah. And Panny, prisoner, thoughts? Man, I was I opened Hancast for like ten seconds, and I see prisoner dominating, and now I see prisoner here. So I am pumped, excited to see this game, um, especially how IG lanes it. I remember um, I or Insane actually mentioning yesterday that Fuzi was an insane prisoner. So I have comes. heard good things. And they picked Pebble as well, so that's pretty interesting now, um, actually. I mean, that's pretty much hinting that they might not have a hard carry, or at least a short lane hard carry. Um, now, as for SG, of course, they have a lodestone, very, very strong hero, so. Um, you know, can't leave them out, even though Legion has a prisoner, but it is the prisoner, and he's known to win games. Win lanes. <laughs> he certainly is, especially in that middle lane, considered to be one of the strongest heroes does lane quite well with uh, a bunch and well we'll see just exactly what SG is going to put there I highly doubt that SG is actually going to run a 2v2 in the middle lane just simply going to be saying hey you guys can have that one we're going to run something else uh, the bands up top that did lead into a prisoner and pebbles on IG were in fact Warbeast, Scout, Tempest and Engineer so both teams choosing to get rid of the Warbeast and Scout once again um, we did see Warbeast in the last game and not gonna let that one happen again. And yeah. Now Parasite and, um, was available, but neither team choosing to run him. That's interesting. Uh, I mean, the thing with IG's lineup is, they're it's very obvious their lanes right now. I mean, it's obvious they're gonna be putting Pebbles short lane most likely, and Prisoner mid, and they're both not carry. So it's no lie that they're not gonna win late game, and they need to get some carry for suicide before the next drafting stage because Swindle, if he's a smart drafter, which he is, will ban every suicide that can be a carry. In other words, War Beast. In other words, maybe Wild Soul. Um, not necessarily a very hard carry um, because he does just get that mock and own, but um, just going to be banning out all the heroes who can go suicide lane and get a lot of farm, which, you know, War Beast scout right now, it's banned, and um, IG's going to stay safe and get that hag pick. It's still open to a lot of lanes. They could still try win if they wanted to. Um, you are going up against an Ophelia, though, so it's Know, up to you if you actually want to man up on that. Uh, but I, I do like both drafts so far. Um, SG, we see a lot of AoE, and IG, we see a lot of early game to mid game potential, um, and a lot of snowball from pretty much every hero so far picked on IG. Yeah, definitely. Snowball is the name of the game for them, and they'll probably pick some supports that are going to go along with that. Wouldn't be surprised to see something like that Pyromancer coming on out. Uh, Nymphora actually being banned out here by Swindemons, not liking how effective Insania was able to be with that hero in the last game. And uh, in addition to that, going to be banning out Pyromancer. So Aluna is going to be the pick as they needed that support pretty badly. And that leaves Torture available for SG if they do want it. And SG does certainly love their Tort. Yeah, they definitely do. So they're going to be able to get that and... Um... He's also a very good cure for pushing, so in their own right, that is helpful. Uh, IG going to be picking up a bit of more counter push now. Luna is a great hero for counter push. I mean, second best next to Master of Arms, and it's going to give them. Now, another thing which um, we noticed a lot, I don't know if, I, I think it was even in the SG series, is that one way to really counter push lineups is to get a hero who can hook. In this case, we have Prisoner. I think Lions also had Prisoner, or another, they had Devour, I think. Um, in one of the games against SG, which they won, and it worked phenomenally for them because it's yeah. just so good against push lineups. But before I speak, we got a Revenant pick coming out. It here. was actually Prisoner Devo Prisoner, I believe, uh, for the series that IG won against SG. Alliance, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Prisoner, maybe Prisoner Prisoner Devo, actually. Maybe it was nothing Prisoner Devo. I know that they had Prisoner Devo in games two and three. Anyway, and a Revenant coming out. I mean, you mentioned that one in... I was kind of thinking this in, in the head, in my head, like what are they going to be running? And it will be a Revenant, so most likely going to be a secondary support Revenant here and will be probably babysitting uh, the Pebbles in that bottom lane. And Revenant along with Pebbles is going to be able to 
really allow the Pebbles to get some massive kills with that invis once he hits level four. Yeah, and I mean on top of that, you know that um, Revenant Eight. has that Sorry. that mortification as well, which also minuses enemies' magic armor, and that's huge against or with Pebbles. But I've always been a huge fan of Revenant. I feel like he's an incredibly strong hero early game. He's kind of a rare hero to fit mid to late game because he gets countered so easily by Dust, um, and that's kind of his really strong or really main weakness in competitive play. Um, but hey, we got CD coming up from SG, so it's a pretty standard SG lineup. Um, nothing too out of the ordinary. Now, I must say that um, I'm assuming, like you said as well, it's probably going to be a bubble solo mid, going to try to dodge that prisoner lane. Um, but Swindle still won't have the best time. I mean, prisoner stops pretty much every hero in Han from using their escape mechanism abilities. Except for bubbles. And load oh, really? Okay. And a Gemini as well. Yeah. So Actually, like, Gemini can use his Q, but he can use, like, use his ulti and stuff. So. Yeah, but uh, definitely the two escape mechanisms here in Bubbles and Lodestone. Both of those are usable with the shackle applied onto you, so not going to be having uh, at least too hard of a time there. And will likely be Bubbles now in the middle lane. Probably going to be Limp going into the suicide lane at some point, and then it will probably be a defensive pseudo tri lane of Torture, Corrupted Disciple, and Ophelia up top. Now, with that being said, um, we've got Insania playing the Revenant here. I, I would almost say that I would want to see Insania doing a, excuse me, uh, playing a suicide, but I think it's actually going to be an aggressive tri lane between Aluna, Revenant, and Pebbles up in this top lane, and then you're going to see Prisoner mid and Zibby playing the Wretched Hag in the bottom lane. And if they do choose to go with this aggressive tri lane, I mean, I feel like Corrupted Disciple is going to have a pretty hard time farming. Um, yeah, I agree with that. Now, the only problem with putting a Pebbles tri lane is that Pebbles needs farm consistently, and if you, you can't really roam on your supports um, with the Pebbles in the tri lane. You can't leave him alone at all. So, uh, in, in that sense, yeah, they'll win top, but mid and bottom should be pretty even. Um, if not one lanes for Hellborn. Now it's gonna be bubbles versus a prisoner make if they choose to try lane. And for bottom it's gonna be a hag versus a lodestone. So I guess hag will have the favor there, but um, Pebbles is already running towards bottom. Um, so I don't think he's gonna be trialing or trialing up here. Okay, it's gonna be a prisoner up here. Okay. Okay, so That's prison I love it. Yeah. I love this prisoner tri lane. Uh, this will be a pebbles actually in the bottom lane. He's gonna square off one v one with lodestone. And that should be relatively even. Pebbles actually stacked a considerable amount of regen, both the health potion as well as blight stones. And then Hag versus Bubbles in the middle lane. They both buy relatively defensively, so this should be even. It's all going to come down to this top lane where I think Prisoner is going to have good farm. Corrupt Disciples not, and it's going to come down to the ability of Ophelia to gank. But with three camps blocked and a lot of vision being provided by these wards, I don't think Ophelia is going to be really able to break into this one. There's the hook immediately. Revenant going to be going in there with the big defile auto attacks. Gets the two on there. There's the slow. The body blocks are there. The autos and the power throw. Down goes Corrupt Disciple. Gets the electric tied down with his dying breath. But hey, bloodlust kill is a bloodlust kill. Yeah, I, I honestly, I love the way IG lane. I, yes, I, I agree. just love how they put prisoner top and they put pebbles bottom. I think it's the, and they put hagman. I think that they couldn't have blamed this lineup better. And it's, I just like the fact that you put pebbles as a solo because he's, you know, he needs constant um, solo XP and he needs farm for a long time. And prisoner can roam. He can also carry, he can, he can take off, he can be solo if needed. Um, and then, of course, Hag will be an even matchup mid. So, yeah, I, I think that IG was definitely prepared with this lineup, and Up it, top. it's catching SG up guard. Revenant does have the Essence Shroud available. They're going to grab Ophelia instead and try to turn this one around. In fact, Power Throw does go out. There's the auto attacks. They might be able to finish off Ophelia. They're going to trade Prisoner for it. So probably not the best trade right there. Uh, it looks like Revenant did use the Essence Shroud. I didn't catch who it was applied to, but a one-for-one one trade and he used it on himself. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I, I think he, he probably could have saved. Oh, well, okay. I thought Prisoner holding two boots, and I was like, what the heck? But he he had taken Insanias as well with him. Um, but yeah, um, I don't. Does something that makes you want to say that? Corrupted. Uh, no, never mind. Okay. Anyway, um, 
there was still a, a decent uh, trade. Ophelia did die, and you know, having an Ophelia level one is still very unfortunate. Yeah. So it wasn't very, very bad for Legion in any means. Um, but uh, they're. They're going to try to get Bubbles here in the middle lane, and I think they're going to be able to. The auto attacks are coming in, and Bubbles will go down. An invisible Aluna cleans that one up, and then Swindlebones, using his Shell Surf to farm, yields his death two minutes and 50 seconds into this game. Three and one in favor of IG, and for the third game in a row, I mean, they're off to a very good start. Yeah, well, I mean, this is... I. It's, you don't... It's just, I'm so... Flustered by how well IG like Lane. thought of this because yeah. yeah because I mean on paper it doesn't seem like this would work as well as it is right now um, and it's it's one of these lineups that yeah it, it might not look as good as I'm making it out to be right now but in the next couple of minutes if they don't feed top and if they don't lose this lane too hard and if they can get Sender back up top soon um, I think that they can honestly. Um, secure a very, very, very large lead early on. Mm. Oh, absolutely agree with you. The Ophelia is going to be underleveled for a long time. Now, Prisoner is taking some damage. The Essence Shroud does actually go out, but a Dust is there. And so, Prisoner going to be in some trouble. How much trouble? Not quite sure. I disagree with that choice from Fusey. He should have been able to get out of there alive. And because he actually throws out the old ball and chain, he gave himself up to a kill. Oh, okay, yeah, I agree. I mean, it would have been very, very close. I, I just, I don't understand why Sender's bottom. I mean, it, like, what I, what I, what I do a lot as well as a support player. Before I speak, actually, Swindleman's gonna be taking a lot of our ass over here. Yeah, he's Ooh. gonna have his potion canceled as well, and it looks like Lodestone gonna be in some trouble. As is Bubbles. There's the Slagmites catching Bubbles, and he will go down. Lodestone barely going to escape. Up top, Revenant died as well. And now, looks like they might actually try to force a push on this tower. I don't think they really can, but... Oh, they got Corrupted Disciple. No, Corrupted Disciple had to leave as well. It's just... It, it annoys, I feel like... I don't know why you would ditch a lane and you can win. Um, for top. I mean, I don't think... I think Pebbles will do fine bottom. But... Uh, by myself, and I feel like they can do a lot better top, and they're kind of just giving up the lane right now for no reason. I don't think they're giving up the lane. They, they might let the tower drop, but I think that uh, Sander will rotate back up there eventually. I mean, so far, Sander has been able to set up a kill in the middle lane, as well as one in the bottom, killing the middle player twice now, and making sure to send Lodestone back. I think Sender's doing a, a fine job and is now pulling, so getting an increased amount of golden experience down here. And with that tower being dead, Prisoner now should be able to static farm this lane pretty effectively, leaving Corrupted Disciple with almost nowhere to farm. I think IG's still in a pretty good spot. No, I, I agree with what you're saying. I just feel like if the if, like the way that they're playing, then they should just play super passive top, and they should just not not like Fuzi should not be that far up as he was before. Well, I agree. Um, I think they weren't on and, the same page at that point. And actually, they didn't. They lost the free deny top two. There's nobody near the tower or the catapults, and they screwed up the deny. So um, that's that's really unfortunate for them giving them a side lead, but. Um, you know, at least Pebbles has some uh, steam boots now. I mean, six minutes in, he has a lot of really nice farm. So they have that going for them, as well as the Hag, who's out leveling with Bubbles mid by almost two levels right now. I mean, he was level six when Bubbles is level four. And now he's going to be rotating top. Maybe he might trade up lanes right now with Prisoner and start staticking up here on that Hag and get him a bit more farm. And that wouldn't be a bad thing to do. 315 gold per minute already on Sibby's Wretched Hag. And uh, going to be working on even more with the double catapults up top. This will allow Prisoner to hold down middle lane where he should be able to get uh, maybe a kill onto this Torture if Torture is not too careful. And meanwhile, Pebble's still farming out the bottom lane very effectively. So liking the rotation coming out. But this does leave both Ophelia and Corrupt the Disciple to free farm the jungle. Not getting a ton of farm here, but definitely getting something. Yeah, I am... I honestly feel like the Ophelia, um, both games, it hasn't been a huge factor for SG. Um, I mean, it's very early to speak right now. Now, she did get a couple games stopped, which is huge, but it's just one of those heroes that doesn't farm very fast, and he's not, you know, he's not getting the levels where he needs to get them as fast as he could because either he has to spend time ganking or part of his jungle is blocked. And uh, you, you don't notice that there's like a huge lead for SG because they're running a jungler. And, you know, it's, in some points, even in game 
too when we watched it was even a disadvantage from because oh. Insania was making a better use of the jungle. <laughs> Grabbing bubbles there in that middle lane. He does get the shells here for on out. Now, Wretch and Hag has to be a little bit careful up top. This is going to be a Minotaur. Might have the stun. There's going to be the stun. Chain Reaction loops on top, though. And Wretch and Hag is going to be able to just blink out of there, no problem. So, uh, double stacking the stun's not ideal. I don't think you would have gotten the kills either way. Wretch and Hag just a little bit too tanky with those steam boots. Yeah. Um, so we, I mean, uh, Zibia still has a good amount of farm to keep him tanky right now. Has those steam boots, so keeping it around 900 or, or 872 HP. Oh, Torture is in trouble up top. Yep. Haunt is going to go out. There's a Bat Blast as well, so Torture, you're done deny. for my friend. Oh, nice deny. And I feel like Zibby had the auto attack there, but just stutter stepped. Unfortunate, and that was a really good deny coming in from my nuts. I also feel like um, Zibbit should have ulted right away, um, and he would have got a couple more auto attacks off because he blinked. He has level one flash of darkness, and it didn't really do anything for him there. He pretty much just moved like two inches. Yeah, um, and 200 units. It, 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 it let him in range for the ultimate, but he should have just initially did it. Obviously, maybe with just waiting a bit to see if there's more support. But. Yeah, unfortunate for Zibi. Um Now the Zebra still dies, so at least he still falls. But um, SG going to be sitting on bottom right now. Tower low. Okay. Bubbles going on. We'll get it. Bubbles going to drop the kelp field here. There's the Essence Trap going out. Is there any kind of dust? There's going to be a Ward of Revelation drop. So Pebbles in a little bit of trouble right here. That's actually Lodestone getting the kill onto Revenant in the backfield. And now Pebble's going to turn around and try to combo him down. Oh, power throw with the old ball and chain. Gets two. They might get a third. Shackled is going to be going off right here. Prison break. Could have been, and Lodestone's in a lot of trouble. Drags him back in. The chuck. And that's going to be a hatch. Whoa. Maybe not. Luna going to be going in there. Not enough damage. The wow. Ophelia ultimate keeping him alive. God, Smith, that one to unexpected there in the bottom lane. Wretched Hag trying to get out of the top lane. Unscathed does get the kill and will be able to blink out of there. TPs as well. And she says, see you later. Yeah, a lot of huge plays from IG right there. That that prisoner of Luna was huge. Um, and it was perfect timing. I mean, imagine if Pebbles had died right there and they lost that. He would be sitting at around 1,200 gold. Mm -hmm. Now he pretty much has the portal key. So... Um, as a huge turn of events right now, 10 minutes in, pretty much going to have a portal key in the next minute, and uh, they're going to start playing aggressive from there on. And he can, you know, the nice thing about Revenant is that um, until Hellborn buys a, buys a Boundite, he can just keep invisiting on the pebbles at any moment and just try to go for a kill. And it should be pretty effective. I mean, CD is pretty squishy, Torture is squishy, Ophelia is squishy, Bubbles is squishy. That's four players again, just like the second game that um, Pebbles will be able to. Like, combo just constantly over and over yeah things are looking real good for the internet gangsters once more we'll see if they uh, go work on their triple snacked ancients here pretty soon that would get pebbles the portal key but he only needs two gold no nope, now has it actually and so portal key going to be on the way for him he's going to take a trip to town first uh, but i mean when you've got portal keys on one side and wretched hag that's almost got a light brand as well compared to the other side which is sitting on what are the biggest items here? Steam oh boots on Corrupt the Disciple with a ring of the teacher, a power supply, and a solar scream ring. And then a set of steam boots on on Lodestone, a ring of sorcery on Ophelia. All right, Bubbles has nothing. Sundalance has been shut down in this game. 185 gold per minute sitting on uh, just the boots bottle and a grave locket. So he's going to be heavily reliant on his spells. And overall, just yeah. things aren't looking so hot. I mean, that the whole reason why Sender is so underfarmed is because uh, the the whole gank from Sender early yeah. on, it's just one of those situations where if you get you get one kill, and Hag will just dominate that lane after. He will get the level advantage, and he'll have the stronger nuke, and he can just outrace you. Ooh, Pebbles gonna jump in. Yeah, gonna go. There's the bat blast and the red power throw. Bubbles does just. Die immediately. Now Shatterstorm does connect here from Lodestone, but now the Prison Break gonna be going out, and Lodestone is gonna drop the hands of Wretched Hag. There's the Chuck back on Corrupted Disciple. Says, you go back over there, 
Here comes IG. They're going in for round two. Portal key is available. There's the Slagmites trying to catch CD. Sonar Scream to finish him off. There's the Chuck forward on to torture. The auto attacks and the old ball and chain takes him out. Aluna being stunned down and will be killed by Ophelia in the background. But here's Bubbles resurrecting, trying to come back in. Revenant going to be trying to get away. There's a dust going out. And Bubbles will catch out Revenant here. So in the end, ends up being a four for two trade. But trading the double supports... Eh, not that big of a deal. And IG has a massive resource advantage. Yeah, that was a very, very huge fight. I honestly feel that um, if Pebbles, for example, had a power supply there, he probably would have been able to go in for a, like a fourth kill on two swing alones at the end. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, even though they got a kill on two Pantini at the end, like you said, you traded two supports, you got four kills for it, I believe. Yep. Everybody but Ophelia. Uh, yeah, everybody but Ophelia going to drop in. Um, just... Exactly what IG needs. Um, they're playing these team fights very well, and they're taking advantage of the portal key pebbles so early on, and they're doing it in a fashion that it's like, hey, SG, you literally have no items. You have nothing that can stop us right now from going on you. And um, the fact that Z Freak is going to be suffering now buying warts is going to put him even as squishier uh, support, and he's going to be even more like uh, vulnerable to dying. And this could just turn into a feed fest. And, for IG soon because of the team that they have that's just based on burst damage and constantly fighting. The only long cooldown that they have is Hag, and um, besides that, it's just they can fight every like 30 seconds if they want to. And they've itemized their heroes with multiple bottles, trying to keep that sustainability up. They want to be able to keep on going in for more round two, no, more like round 10 here for IG. They want to be able to take down these players multiple times. Got that light brand that's going to be finished up here momentarily on Zibby to give him the increased mana pool and the regen aspect. So he's going to be very, very satisfied with that one quite soon. I mean, other big item pickups. You've got uh, maybe something coming out for Prisoner pretty soon. He's got 1,100 gold. And unfortunately, Insania having some internet issues. But looks like they're going to be ready to go. And get this one started one more time. We'll see if SG is going to be able to really capitalize off of any mistakes made by the Legion team, or if this one could end pretty quick. Yeah, I'm 12 or 13 minutes in already, such a huge lead, and Corrupted hasn't even farmed a Energizer. I'm trying to get that as fast as he can, but um, I mean, if you're IG right now, all you do is you don't care about farming. You just keep fighting. You force SG to fight with the items that they have, and if they, if they don't want to fight, then you take towers. I mean, this. There's no excuse for IG to be playing passive right now. Uh, I mean, yeah, you can get Hag more farm, but it's not necessary right now. Yeah. Um, you, you can maybe farm one more item if you want to get it, but like I said, uh, you know, right now you see that Pebble's going to be running mid right now, probably just going to chuck a creep and get that tower. He's going to try to get uh, more out of There he is. I'm just... I'm, tower fall. I'm watching the turnaround right now in the bottom lane on stream six minutes later. <laughs> Power throw old ball and chain. Oh my god, that was insane. A huge place. That was bonkers. Like, it feels like that power throw should have done double damage. <laughs> <laughs> the double damage, but yeah. It was like, you pulled him back in, time. man. It's like increased momentum with that power throw. The stick hitting so hard. Oh, Pebble's in a lot of trouble right here. He is going to get uh, stalagmites off, but now going to be hit with the kelp field as well as the king's grasp, and Pebbles is down. So, five players going to be coming together to bring home that kill. Pebbles does have a buyback if he needs to use it to defend a tower or maybe set up a team fight. But right now, it looks like uh, it's just going to be a simple case of being out of position and getting spotted out by a very nice ward of sight. Yeah, um, and I mean, his team was saving ancients. And something else that's interesting to note is that the Hag is going for a health bar. Um, okay. Instead of a Umar, so... They're, they're going for that straight lockdown. Nope. Oh. Yeah. Grab the sky. Maybe, no. yeah. Maybe not. They're going to let it go. Anyway, Pebbles yeah. does resurrect now, and SG going to go ahead and back off, not wanting to get too risky in the middle lane, knowing just how much of a threat that hero is. Yeah, and they're going to go for some triple ancients right now. They're going to need a lot of resources though, to get it, so um, they're going to have a lot of people being low HP right now, and. Um, I don't know if IG is aware they have that lane ward made. I'm not sure if they spotted them out, but Sender had one snipe to rule them all right now. It would get like, two kills if you could. We'll see. But, um, Come on, Sender. I'm channeling my thoughts to you. Sender. 
Send it. Uh, go for the red power throw on Ancients. They're backing from Ancients. They're scared of them. I mean, uh, it's not what you want to have to do, but it might be the better decision here. Uh, just because of how strong they know that Pebbles is and weren't sure where he was on the map. Now that they are, did reveal themselves up top, SG has a decision whether they want to try to go for a counter push, maybe take those Ancients themselves, or defend. And as double TPs are coming into the top lane, looks like they are setting up a defense. Yeah, well, Hag's bottom right now, so they know that um, IG is currently not five. You have Hag just finishing two Arcanas. Hopefully, IG does not play too aggressive top. They're kind of going to do um, something very smart and just split push both lanes and keep the aggression going. This is kind of forcing SG to defend top, but um, it's opening a lot of farm for Hag, and that's pretty much the only item that they're waiting for. By the way, Elder Parasite, I'm personally, I'm not sure if we nice. called that, but um, yeah, it's definitely a great item on him. Um, with the new change on item that happened in the patch a couple of months ago, or, or a month ago around, I don't know how long ago it was, but making that uh, making it so it also gives you a beast card now, it just, it's a perfect item for heroes like Prisoner, because it gives them the ability to be a tank. Ooh, he may, he's, he's trying to find a hiding spot right now. Yeah, he's <laughs> in a lot of trouble right now, and gonna maybe try to S2 his way over these cliffs. Um, not gonna happen though. And this is gonna allow the triple stacked ancients to be cleared up in the end. So, this is a problem for IG. They've now had Pebbles and Prisoner each get picked off once just from trying to set up, trying to force kills to happen. And the more that they do that, the, the more that they're going to give up the resources. Now, Aluna going to be caught out and killed in the middle lane. Uh, IG starting to lose control of this game. We saw him give up a 10k advantage in the last one. And SG starting to come back in this. Yeah, I, mean, I, I honestly would like to see IG go as 5 and... They're just they're the reason this is happening is because they feel the need to have Hag get a health level. Oh, Hag, she's she's here. She has a bat blast available. I'm not gonna go ahead and use it. They want to wait until prisoner is in there. But I mean, how big of a pickup is that health flower gonna be? Is it yeah, worth yeah. of waiting this long? I I don't like if if every time like. I, I think to myself of like what, what Legion should be doing because it makes me mad right now seeing them lose, like Same. get picked off, um, and I always hear Tankafet because Tankafet was like you know my my last leader that would always scream so much and like take it so seriously that when you have a team like Legion you just apply oh, pressure. They're going in right here. They're gonna try oh. to get Ophelia. Not gonna happen though. And now Prisoner could be in a little bit of trouble. Gonna get hooked out by the Ophelia minions. Red Power Throw gonna be going in there. And this is actually gonna be a kill onto two of the supports most likely as well. There's the combo going off. Bat Blast is gonna connect but uh, Torture gonna be healed up by the Ophelia heal and camera gonna go ahead and zoom in right here huge throws coming out of the internet gangsters once more pebbles is gonna die to this corrupted disciple and lodestone had gonna be the only one to go ahead and get out of there they're falling apart uh, this team simply does not have it in them to carry out when they have a gigantic advantage once again they're using prisoner to initiate instead of pebbles i'm not really sure why um it's I mean, it's not, it's not actually going to be... Uh, it's because Prisoner had a haste rune when they gave him the uh, Essence Shroud there, but it had worn off by the end. And then Fusey the missed is, the hook. I mean, okay, so they have the Health Flower at least now, but... Great. I don't know, it's not going to, it's not going to do anything now. Like, that's yeah. the problem, is that it, this item should have been finished a couple, or at least a couple minutes ago with not this huge loss. Okay, top lane, Corrupt Disciple might fall. I'm uh, nope. going to activate the health potion and will survive. The red power throw is simply not enough. And Prisoner didn't have the damage to actually finish off CD. But, yeah, I mean, the, the health floor is not going to do what it was like designed to do early on. I mean, and it was probably going to be used for either locking down Ophelia so she can't heal, or maybe bubbles and just kill him instantly before we get the skill off. I mean, with some options, but... Now you have a portal key on Bubbles. Now you have Corrupt the Psycho going to get a bit more tanky. Now you have a Helm of the Black Legion on Lodestone. Now you have Ophelia with Astrolabe. It's just, I don't, I don't understand why they felt the need to, to wait for that item. Um, yeah. it, this is actually like, the exact same thing that happened to Lions in game number two against SG last week. When they were one game away from finishing off SG, I talked to Hanskin afterward, and he said we were just 
kind of scared to lose the lead that we had. And by doing nothing, they lost the lead, which is the exact same situation that IG found themselves in. Uh, they got two pickoffs from trying to force something with the uh, Pebbles and Prisoners solo. And then right there at the end, they tried to force something as a team, but ended up missing some spells, and they've now lost their resource advantage. Um, they still are in a pretty decent spot. I mean, I would say this game is pretty close to even right now. Maybe IG is still in a small advantage, but by no means do they have that massive momentum and resource advantage they had just a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, I'd, I'd honestly put the momentum right now in favor of, that, of SG. Um, just because of the last two team fights and IG kind of falling apart, it's just... Ophelia with so much heal and Corrupt Disciple getting tanky, it's just going to get to the point where um, it's going to be difficult to kill Corrupt Disciple. And they need to go a lot, they, they need to go all in to kill him. And the problem is, when somebody jumps in from IG, they're probably not going to be coming out alive. At least that's what we've seen in the past couple of fights mid over here. Revenant Ooh. will get out of there. Now, Congo was scouted out as well. Um, but it looks like the Legion team not going to be trying to actually interrupt this one at all. Yeah, simply not able to get into position in time. Corrupt the Disciple is going to walk away with the token, and now 600 gold away from a shrunken head. I don't know. Oh, God, this is this is making me mad, Beef. Penny, calm but, down. But, um, I mean, I, I feel like it's just IG, um, you know, like what you said about Hanskin, they're scared, maybe, that of making a big risk mm -hmm. in pushing right after. But that, that, that same fear is what's holding them back, and um, it's just, I, it's, I've seen this a lot of times happen with teams in general, is that they just, somebody's not making a call on the team. Nobody's making the call to say, let's just go, because whoever makes that call, yeah. like if, if the team screws up, it's like, oh, well, that's the guy that just lost us and got us kicked out of the cycle. Yeah. I mean, nobody wants to be, I mean, but the thing is, you have to have that player in your team, you have to have that captain who, will make those really risky decisions. And in this game, you need a, you need a high-risk, high-reward decision from IG in a situation like that where they have a huge lead. Um, and it just, it, when, when you see, well, as a spectator, when you see this happening, it's just, you cringe because um, you know that I, SG literally had nothing 10 minutes ago. They had nothing to work with. And now, uh, Corrupt Disciple has a shrunken head and a token of life. I mean, it's just, I, I don't know if they can kill Crypt Disciple twice with an Ophelia Astrolabe and a heal right now at this point. No, game. I, I don't think they have what it takes to actually engage this SG team one on one. Uh, they're going to have to wait out the five minutes on this token of life. They're most likely going to have to go for a pickoff instead. Um, but right now, looks like SG just going to be content to sit back and try to farm out a little bit. Now, Bubbles, oof, that's Portal Key out of the bottom <laughs> lane. That was kind of scary. That was, um, but yeah, I mean, looks like they're gonna just try to farm up and get something going for the team. Try to get some items and gonna see what prisoner go for or goes for. I'm not really sure. Um, he has a couple of options here. Could see something like a shrunken head. We could see something like a portal key. Um, not really sure what Fuzzy personally likes to go, but um, he needs to be careful at the same time because SG is setting up down here. They are, and Prisoner going to go ahead and TP on out of there. Pebbles likely going to do the same when his comes up in one second. Revenant and Wretched Hag are going to start to apply a lot of pressure onto the tower up top. And looks like they will be able to go ahead and at least get the tower get pretty low. I mean, SG not going to back off. I only load some of the TP, and at the same time you're dealing with an Ophelia who can't teleport her creeps. Yeah. So... Um, they can't really transport the whole team very easily, and they're just going to push through towers. But yeah, um, really heads up play by IG. They're doing exactly what they have to do in the situation and just push two lanes. They're probably going to get mid tower as well, and it's going to be a two tower trade um, unless we see SG react, which they are running towards mid now. And tower up top going to start to take a little bit of damage as well. So IG has to be cognizant, saying, hey, okay, they're no longer in the bottom lane. Congo is not up. Where are they coming? Well, they're coming up into the middle lane to try to defend their tower so immediately IG heads into the jungle to take down some creeps and they're going to push out this wave a little bit once more before falling back for good and very well played by IG they're, they're playing this exactly how they need to at this point three minutes left on this token of life and this is 
going to be the time when that token of life is over that's when you're going to be able to look at ig and say hey we've got big items coming up ourselves maybe we can go ahead and take a fight and likely come out on top once again yeah and um i, I like it's, it's good to see that when a team like ig makes a mistake that they don't they don't just start farming after that i mean a lot of teams in that situation they wouldn't have pushed that top tower they would have been just scared they would have been like oh they're just going to keep being kill us but um, IG smartly gets that tower kill, and it's it's actually a pretty big deal. I mean, they did trade a second tower for a first, so um, and now um, Ziba on that Hag has its shrunken head, so they're still getting pretty good items. I mean, you still see Hag top farmer of the game, 470 gold per minute. By no means is he behind. Um, oh, yeah. It's just the fact that he has the health flower, you know, that, that might be holding him back in terms of carrying his team solo. I mean, I actually don't have a problem with the Hellflower. Now that he has the Hellflower shrunken head at 26 minutes in here and level 16, I think Zippy's actually in fantastic shape to carry this game. Um, yeah. So he's going to keep on moving forward. you got the Pebbles that's going to be working on Demonic, now about 2,000 gold away from that one. That would be a gigantic pickup, and 2,000 gold saved up here on Prisoner. Kind of wish that he could donate that to his buddy and say, here, I'll get, I'll get the Demonic, you get the next one. Yeah, um... I, what do you? I mean, what do you personally think uh, is a good item for Prisoner right now? Because I, I've seen a couple of items, and I don't really know what the best build is for him yet. I feel like he's really too new to just say there's like a there's a certain build for Prisoner. I would either say, I think I would honestly say a push stick, perhaps. Um, I think that could be very good, but right now there is going to be a little bit of tower trading going on. Middle tier 2 does go down. Now TP is going to be coming back. SG going to be trying to get high ground advantage here, and they are going to be able to get at least some creeps up there. Now the token of life is going to be expiring here relatively soon. Does IG want to engage here? I don't think they want to, but I think they might have to. Their tower is going to be going down here momentarily, and the tower is gone. There's the hook. They're going to try to corrupt the disciple back. He's in a bad position for this resurrection now. Pebble's going to go for the Chuck right here, Ooh. but Trunkinet is going to be activated. Bath Hag, Hag is in there. Bat Blast going to connect onto three players. Bubbles can be taking a lot of damage. Bubbles is going to be going down. Revenant is dead as well, and that Trunken Head is going to be expiring here. And the Melee Rack's taking a lot of damage, but Stay Green is not going to be able to stick around. There was a buyback expended on both Revenant as well as Pebbles. Lodestone going to be trying to get out of there off to the right side. Ophelia is going to be going down in the front lines. The Rax is going to survive in the background, and now Torture going to be trying to get out the. Oh my God, he's actually going to get out of there. Wow. Oof. So. Bubbles all back, by the way. Oh, Bubbles did buy back. So, wasted buy back there from Swindle. That was going to be two buybacks on IG's side. And this Rax is very, very low. They need to actually get this Hell Cannon off of it. Uh, it is attacking <laughs> creeps now. Yeah, that's fine. But, um, yeah, it's... Um, Prisoner didn't get... Or the main problem with that is that... Uh, oh, okay. Prisoner going to get caught out with Invis. Uh, less than ideal. That's the third time yeah, that Fusey's actually died in that location. Yeah, that's true. And uh, it's a really unfortunate. Um, I mean, probably I guess didn't expect Torture to be there that fast after he TP'd out, but nice pick up from SG and they might just go straight up push again. They have 40 seconds right now. Uh, it's not that much time, but uh, then again, they don't have the token. They might even just wait for the next Congo if they want to do that. Uh, Corrupt Disciple has around 4,000 gold saved up. Gonna see what he chooses to go for. Um, I'm expecting a Firebrand at least of right now, but um, mm -hmm. I mean, he could go. I don't know how popular Dawnbringer is on Corrupted. It's um, pretty damn popular, but I feel like it's a little bit late for it. I don't know how much it's gonna do. I mean, it, it, it is gonna. It's a nice item just because it keeps him mobile and it can slow as well. But um. I think he might go with Geometer's Bane or some oh. some other, I don't know, it's probably Geo. I, I wouldn't uh, disagree with the Searing Light and then turning it into a Geometer's Bane later on in the game. Um, especially because with that uh, Frostburn or Dawnbringer component, uh, plus a Post Haste and an Energizer, not even the activated Energizer, there we go, it yep. is going to be a Searing Light. You called it. Um, so, yeah, going for that. We'll see if he goes Dawnbringer. Either way, if he upgrades to post taste with the items that he has right now, he will be uh, capped out on movement speed, which is yeah, pretty yeah. nice. I like that. I like the, the fact that he goes searing light. Just he wants some movement speed, he wants some more attack speed, and he wants some damage. So exactly what's going to give it to him? And pebbles. Oh, please. 
is going to get out of there. Oh, Ooh. Bubbles even going to use the Kelp Field. Wasn't quite able to get him with that one. And I don't know if they, the Legion team is actually aware of that, but they're now pushing up the bottom lane. I mean, if they took a team fight here, they could be in a decent advantage. And by the way, Wretched Hag is now 1,500 gold from a sheep stick. All right, so he has bought the... Um... He's about to let the mana tube and the uh, stack like that? No. Okay, yep. fair. Um, and yeah, by the way, Prisoner finished a um, Sanitarius too. Okay. So, I mean, even though it feels like SG got all this momentum back, you still see a, a lot of farm from IG. They're still utilizing farm correctly. And I haven't played with Insania for a very long time, but when I played with Insania, he's one of those players who will focus so much on getting um, and constantly having resource control. Constantly making sure that everybody's farming some uh, side of the map and it's not uh, overstacked or people wasting time. So I mean, that's really showing this game right now. That as much of a lead that SG and as much like team fights and momentum and they're gaining, uh, IG definitely still has a very huge resource. Um, not not huge, but still resource advantage, which is not expected right now. I mean, 1.5k gold and XP is pretty much even. But. Looks like we could be going into another team fight here, Fanny. The Hellborn team going to be pressuring up on this tier 2 tower, and they are going to be able to take it down. On the other side, Hag pushed up the bottom lane, so a little bit of damage going to be done to the tower, but it looks like the Hellborn team going to retreat immediately. Concord is up. The Legion team with a ward of sight for the next 40 seconds around this area, but they need some more vision if they want to try to take a fight down there. And this is really scary. This is really tense. SG up on the high ground. There is a bound die. Prisoner going to be caught out. He's very tanky. 2200 life. Not tanky enough. Bubble's going to be going in. Kelfield onto two. Bat Blast going to hit four players in the background. Hack doing a lot of damage, but is it going to be enough? She needs to actually blink out of there. And now Pebbles going to be in a lot of trouble as well. Corrupted Disciple going to be running him down. Pebbles needs a portal key, but it's not going to happen. This is going to be four players down. And once more, stay green. One step ahead. Now, what's the buyback situation here? They have buybacks on two out of these three players that are dead. Uh, Aluna and Prison or er, and Revenant both can be dead for the full duration. There's the buyback on Prisoner. Wretched Hag trying to get some regen going. And there's the melee racks. Gonna be glyphed up right here, but Prisoner already missing the hook. And it looks like IG is going to be able to survive without taking any racks casualties as a result of the double buybacks. But second buyback there on Pebbles. Yeah, that was, it's not good, but um, at least, I mean, the, the nice hope for IG is that Zib is still um, surviving in every fight. And it's, that's important for them because late, late game, that will be a huge factor. He does get that culture sheep stick at least, so I mean, those are the positives right now for IG. But yeah, SG, really huge plays and nice patience from them, just waiting up the hill and um, that bound die as well from Z Freak, I mean, pretty much set up that whole thing. Yeah. He's had it for a while, and he's constantly keeping it. He's not losing it, so well played by him. I've got to say, Fusey's positioning in this game has been lackluster. The, the, it seems like almost every team fight that uh, has been set up has been Fusey kind of walking into something and getting caught out and killed, and then the team trying to help and getting killed as well. Red Power Throw connects onto Ophelia up top, but she is going to drop as well as her minions most likely, but no, here comes Corrupted Disciple and Bubbles, and now Pebbles in a lot of trouble. The prisoner is going to be going in, there's the hook under two of them, trying to save his teammate, and I think he might be able to. Now Bubbles is the one that's in trouble right here, Pebbles has stalagmites in one second, not going to be able to get him off, Revenant trying to get out of there as well. No, now Revenant is toast, but on the backside, there's the Hellflower onto Bubbles, and Bubbles is going to drop Red Power Throw, going to be connecting onto him, and Bubbles is going to go down here, Wretched Hag finishing him off. In just a second, uh, okay, nope. nope, he's just continually surviving, and is going to survive with 10 HP, I cannot believe that Swindle just lived. Oh, or is, is nope. Prisoner dies on the, the background, and now Wretched Hag in a lot of trouble, is going to be connected on, and killed by the Shatterstorm Lodestone, and it's now going to be a very, very dead IG base. Yeah, um, so yeah, um, pretty much... That's it. They didn't. <laughs> I feel like the the hook from Prisoner wasn't that huge because Bubbles had a shell going on the whole time. Yeah. So when he hooked him, he just shelled out. But um, they weren't really able to make any use of the Prisoner hook. I mean, nothing happened. And it's just because they don't really have anything to do against a shrunken head 
um, corrupt disciple. They don't have any attack. Like they have to just auto attack him. They don't have anything that can go through that. So the second he gets that off, for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds, he's just gonna be able to do whatever he wants. And they're gonna play it smart though. They're gonna go for Congo. Um, they don't want to play too aggressive. Maybe not. They don't know the buyback situation from IG. They should know that IG has spent a lot of buybacks over this game. Yeah. So. And so I mean, I, I definitely exaggerated a little bit there when I said that this was game. It's certainly not over, and especially with the way that uh, SG has decided to go about it, I'm grabbing the token of life instead of forcing any racks. And so IG will retain all their racks, and even the melee racks up top going to be regenerating up to full. So if there is a single time where IG is able to get initiation, I think they will still win team fights. The problem is that I don't know that I've seen Zergo initiate a single team fight. Yeah. Uh it's just now i mean now yeah he's not even gonna go for shrunken now like he's, he's tried so long to save up gold and he just ends up using it to buy back now he doesn't have any bad x left he's gonna go for a warp left um so just gonna go all in on a demonic and make sure they have a bit more damage to deal out but yeah i don't he, he, the thing is you know it's just it's pretty obvious that once pebbles jumps in against that team he's not going to come out most likely mm -hmm. unless they can burst somebody down instantly which is possible because they have a sheep stick and health flower but um, it's just not being shown in fights, and it feels like IG is not as all like to add to that. It feels like IG is never actually five at the same spot at the same time. No, it feels not. like somebody's always behind, or somebody's farming a lane, and it's not necessarily their fault. It's it's SG being unpredictable where they're standing, but um, you know you yeah. have to just at some point you have to go like okay, let's just go all in. Let's just be five for once. That almost comes back to what you were talking about, Insania being such a stickler for everybody needs to be farming. You need to have perfect resource control. Perfect resource control is great, but that necessitates that nobody's ever going to be together, which is kind of how all these team fights are starting in such a bad way. And now it looks like the Legion team might finally be grouping up. Ophelia heal was just used, and I'm not entirely sure why. And if the Legion team are aware of this, I mean, that's a huge, cool 2 Ophelia ultimate is a big heal. But they're not aware of it, and they're going to go back to farming. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's either they just want to wait out the token, and they don't care whatever happens. They don't care if Lodestone ult is nothing. They just they, they don't want to fight against the token. Um, it's either that, or they just they, they need to get a pick off, which is also true. Um, and they might be waiting for somebody to go get out of position, but... You need a lot of offensive wards for you to get people out of position, or it's generally easier with more offensive wards. Um, and, you know, it's, it's not going to be very easy for Senda to get those wards off against the Bound Dang with Vice Easy. And also, it's something we really haven't talked about at all this game is the fact that Revenant really is kind of losing his ability to be useful as this game progresses. Mm -hmm. And he's also not farming at all. I mean, he only has a Beast Heart and Power Supply. Sender has more farm than him. So, um, you, you essentially have three to four players on Legion who are doing something in team fights, and as for Hellborn, you have all players from SG that are doing something pretty significant and have some ability to be strong. I mean, even Swindle, who hasn't been having the great greatest game right now, he has a sheep stick now. So. Yeah, going to be able to apply that crowd control, and that is going to be pretty big, but I uh, yeah. I don't know, what is he even going to do with this Beast Heart? Is it just for some HP so he doesn't die to literally everything in one second? Or is he going to be going for an Elder Parasite? I don't know. I mean, what else does that go into? Icon of the Goddess and uh, Helm of the Black Legion? I think it's for the HP, but you know, I'm not really sure what he's going to make it into. I'm not trying to go to Legend of the Elder Parasite. I don't even know. Icon of the Goddess, Heart, Helm of the Black Legion, I don't know. It's not gonna finish any item. Pretty much. Uh, Legion team gonna be doing a little bit of counter push base trading, perhaps. And the Hellborn want to make it up into the top lane, and okay, Fusion Prisoner, um, as well as Wretch Tag, all gonna TP back now. Corrupted Disciple did buy out on a Assassin's Shroud and might be trying to deactivate a portal key or something. 
He's way up in front. Does have that token to life for quite some time. Oh, there's going to be a Sheepstick that was used, actually. Trying to combo down Torture, but a Barry Auto going to be going off. And instead, Wretched Hag in a lot of trouble. Does manage to blink on out of there. Ophelia was taken out in the backfield, but down goes Prisoner as well as Revenant. Aluna going to go down. Wretched Hag's in the well, regening. There's the Sheep onto Pebbles, but Pebbles going to go down as well. There's the hook backward here from Prisoner, but there's not nearly enough damage and there's four players still up here from Stay Green. They are just going to go ahead and work on this melee ranks with impunity. And down it goes. Moving into the middle lane now to try to take down the tower. No more buybacks available here for IG. And the old ball and chain is available. Uh, going to throw it out, but whiffs. And now the melee ranks are going to be in trouble once more. It looks like Stay Green going to be marching their way to victory. Once more, a 2-1 victory. And they will continue on into the top three. Maybe. I, I mean, it's not over, but... I, I feel like like it might have actually been a better decision to just base race here and just trade barracks. Um, now, SG has a bit of a... Uh, they're going to go for Prisoner one more time. And, well, there's the push to forward on a Prisoner. They get a Luna instead. Corrupt the Disciple, gonna get sheeped out, but a minute and a half left on that token. He's gonna be just fine. Hook in the Life does uh, get activated as he dragged back up. And there's the Shackled applied onto him. So CD actually is likely gonna maybe not die here. Wretched Hag gets the shrunken head off and will have to blink on out of there. There's Pebbles, slag my combo onto two. And the old ball and chain one more time onto Corrupt the Disciple. Lowstone already dying in the background. Bubbles in the back as well, also in a lot of trouble. Corrupt the Disciple is able to get out of there and. Bubbles coming back in, gets the sheep stick onto Wretched Hag. I'm not sure about this one, as Bubbles is likely going to die. No, Barry Auto as well as Astrolabe going to be coming in. Old Ball and Chain finishes off Corrupt the Disciple, and Bubbles still alive for now. Mortification is going off here. There's the Chuck, but Bubbles going to survive, gets the Shell Surf on out of there. Ophelia trying to finish off Prisoner. There's the Insanitarius Toggle as well as the Ophelia ultimate going to be going off. Ophelia is going to drop, and it's just going to be Swindlemon surviving for Team Stay Green. Uh, okay, now what can IG do with everybody down? I think they just have to clear out their base. Yeah, I mean, um, it's pretty evident that after SG won a team fight, got to barracks, that they all have buybacks. That's just how it works, um, and they do. So they can't really just go head on push. They just have to kind of get some words around their base, um, like, like on the cliffs, etc. And next push, they need to just jump and kill that CD right away. They just need to focus him down with everything they have. They need to jump him, sheep or sheep stick him, and help flower him. Have a pebbles combo, or how, or, or just hope for a prisoner hook, one of the two, and just try to burst him down as fast as possible, and try to take over the fleet, uh, the team fight from them. Um, because you, you're not going to kill Lodestone very easily just by the axe of the Malphite on top of that. Bubbles is uh, it's still played extremely well that fight as well. He got low and almost died so many times, but like five or six times. To take over. Had a struggle Great. early game. He was just he was just saving up, man. He was just saving up all the big plays for later in the game. As he has been playing very well. And what about this wretched hag with barbed armor? I mean, thoughts on that one? That's a very odd pickup. Um, I think it's just it might give him the ability to just man up a bit more um, in the middle of the fight because it generally when he blinks in, regardless if he has a shrunken head on or off, he just gets focused instantly. Like, all the attention from SG just goes on him. Triple invis um, up here. Yeah. Maybe trying to look for a pick. Ophelia is not there. Maybe in the middle lane, oh, Corrupted Disciple. Uh, gonna activate the Energizer, but not quite able to. So, nice attempt from IG, but weren't quite able to make it work out. That would have been huge. I mean, they, they don't have a bounder right now on Helper, and no, they're not planning to get one, it looks like. So, um, Invis might actually play a huge role in the next team fight. As for, so, okay, so Insania picks up, uh, he picks up a Glowstone, so I guess he's going to come out the Gavis. That is a very strange pickup to me. Bubbles, maybe in a little bit of trouble here. Does portal key down after shell surfing forward? That's very interesting. I don't know though. I mean, the amount of money invested is so far thirty or twenty three hundred on the two stat items here. Could have been a push stick. And is that something that you would have preferred to have seen? Instead of um, you mean instead of the two arms? pieces of icon? Oh, the two pieces of all oh, I'm saying it. It's hard. I mean, a tablet would have been good, but I see the reasoning why he's getting it. It's just so he can survive in team fights because without those items, he's a Strider's Revenant 40 minutes in. Um, and 
he's, he doesn't want to get to the point where he's just dying and dying and dying and having no use this whole game. Um, so I can understand his reasoning behind that. It's just kind of, you know, a tablet might have might have been good one or two times, but I think overall Penny, this might be better. Just to the play. Legion team is going around from the backside okay. here, and they might actually be able to get a pickoff from this angle. Uh, Essence Shroud is going to be finishing here in one second, and here they go. Going to grab the old ball and chain, and they are able to get torture immediately, but Pebbles is going to be going down in the front lines. Map Boss going to connect onto everybody, but Regin Hag is dead. That's a five-second stun on the Corrupted Disciple from the Emerald Red Light, er, but uh, nope, that was actually not Corrupted Disciple. That was somebody yeah. else. CD gets everybody. GG well played. They're coming out. And that's it. Say Green advances 2-1 once more. Gosh. This is this is an insane and intense weekend from State Green. Definitely is, and um, yeah, huge game three, really intense. Really upset that you know IG couldn't capitalize on the huge lead that they had, but you know in the end SG does what they do best, and they capitalize on mistakes. They capitalize on the fact that um, that they were able to get a couple pickoffs on IG, and they j they just turned the whole momentum of the game around and were able to win it all. And now they're, now they're going to be advancing. I'm not really sure who they're up against right now. Uh, it's going to be the loser of USA versus Lions. That match going on right now. Guys, uh, I, as you might be able to see there on your screen, I, I'm contacting Swindle to see if he actually wants to come on and uh, has anything to say to us about that match. So we'll go ahead and That'll check in awesome. on that one in just a second here. That would be awesome indeed. Um... Looks like he will. So, all right, guys, we're going to take about a one-minute break here, and then we're going to have Swindlebones coming on for the interview. This has been Cole Cast with Beef and Panny. We'll be back in a minute with a swindle for you. Swindle. <laughs> you know. <laughs>